This is Dr. Katherine Dow reporting for Room Now. I'm at the ACR 2020 Convergence meeting. It's a virtual meeting, and so far it has not disappointed. Um, I wanted to share with you one of the plenary abstracts that was presented, and this was on COVID-19. And so this is a study actually looking at the TriNet X um, data bank. And what they did was they compared patients who had rheumatic diseases versus patients who don't have rheumatic diseases. So the general population. And they wanted to see what the outcomes were for rheumatic disease patients at four months and then again at six months. So they identified 716 rheumatic disease patients who had COVID-19. Um, what they found were that patients were at risk for hospitalization, particularly if they had high blood pressure, diabetes, chronic kidney disease, and asthma. So rheumatic disease patients actually had more of these comorbidities than the general population. In addition, they found that patients with rheumatic diseases actually did have more hospitalizations, ICU stays, mechanical ventilation, acute kidney injury, venous thrombotic events, as well as requirement for renal replacement therapy. What's also interesting is that these patients also had an increased risk for venous thrombotic events that persisted at six months. Didn't end at four months, but it actually persisted at six months with a relative risk of 1.6. At six months, they didn't find any um, increased risk from mechanical ventilation. So this study actually was a little bit different compared to um, the results of the Global Rheumatology Alliance where they didn't find that patients who had rheumatic diseases had a higher risk for um, hospitalizations or, or complications from COVID-19. And they had pointed out that perhaps the difference was that with the GRA registry, this was all patients who had rheumatic diseases. Whereas with the TriNet X um, population, these are um, a study of both rheumatic disease patients versus non-rheumatic disease patients. So in a way, I mean, their data did correlate with GRA because they did identify the same kind of risk factors that could lead to high risk for COVID-19 complications. So that's diabetes, high blood pressure, um, kidney disease, and then lung disease or asthma in the case of the trinet X um, data. So um, this is something that you know, we all worry about with our patients. Um, there's been a lot of abstracts that shows that perhaps our patients do not get COVID-19 as much. Now, the question is whether or not our patients are more careful, they're socially distancing, they're wearing their masks, they're washing their hands, or is it maybe some of our drugs may be protective? But this is actually a very interesting study that brings out the fact that perhaps our patients with rheumatic diseases um, might have a higher rate of hospitalization and complications from COVID-19. So just for you to be aware of, um, please follow me on Twitter at KDAO2011 and have a great day.